James Akers here, the Thai guy. I hope you had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I know I did. We had an absolute blast. Uh, I'll be going into Thai in a second. We, we spent the day on the lake on uh, Saturday. Sunday we went to the pool and did bowling and everything. And then Monday went to the pool again. Just had an absolutely phenomenal time. I put pictures on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But today we're going to be tying a more fall look because the weather's starting to change here in the mountains of West Virginia. It's September now. And so we're going with this absolutely gorgeous Zinnia brown tie. It's a brand new tie. Just got this uh, my last trip to Neiman. Shout out to Andre, my stylist. And um, just it's, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's a very classy looking tie. It's a, a real pretty brown with just white geometric dots throughout and a really deep brown as well, just creating a little bit of symmetry there. Uh, very, very good looking tie. Uh, i got to take the tags off here in a second. This, though... If you know anything about me, you know I'm a Zinnia fan. Love Zinnia. But this is a more expensive Zinnia tie. So I'm going to give you an honest review on whether it's worth it or not. Zinnia's got the regular tie line, which runs about $190, $195, right in that range. Just to say $200. This particular tie was um, $255. So it's definitely a little bit higher end. My rule when I shop is if I love it, I don't even look at the price tag. I just get it. If I like it, I look at the price and figure out if it's worth it or not. So I love this tie. So I was just going through uh, with Andre and just uh, and my girlfriend was actually here with me as well, just picking out ties I like and I'd hand them. I'll take this. I'll take this one. And this was one of them. Then we realized it was a more expensive one, but it had it's one of their uh, 100 series, if you will. So we're gonna give you an honest review because I know my Zinnia ties, and I'm gonna tell you if it's worth the extra 50 bucks or not. So let me get these tags off. We'll do a quick review, and uh, I will give you my honest opinion on whether. The extra hundred line is 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 worth fifty bucks. Um, so uh, review wise, silk feels really nice. You know, lays perfectly. You can tell it's a little bit maybe a little bit tighter woven. Just ha it does have a very nice feel to it. A very nice feel. Um, in in uh, the tie has a little bit of a fold right here. I'm hoping that'll work out. Uh, I may have to have that ironed out. We'll see. But we're gonna tie. I just have Zoom calls today. No in person meeting. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Zinnia makes a great tie always. Uh, this is a fairly thick one. Some of their ties are a little bit thinner, but this one has a really nice uh, depth to it. Let's tie this thing up and just see if it's worth the extra 50 bucks or not. I've never said anything bad about Zinnia yet. Let's see if this is the day. Uh, I do unbiased, unfiltered reviews here on my YouTube. So uh, because of thickness this tie, we're going to have to go just a tiny bit longer. So we're going to start out right about here. And we take the long part of the tie over the shorter part of the tie, and we come up behind and through. I do like the little logo though the Zinnia 100 has. Then we come all the way around behind, up over, down, and through. We looked, our checkpoint I call it, we want to make sure everything's nice and neat, which it is. Then we come around the front, back in behind, up and through, and we're going to push it down through a little pocket we just created, hold the top of that pocket. Pull the tie down through. Now we're going to tidy it up. We're going to turn the edges down. We're going to hold on to the knot while we pull on the long part of the tie. Create the perfect triangle. Then we're going to pull the shorter part of the tie while we hold the knot to bring it up to our neck. And we want to check for our, our uh, length. We want the tip of the tie, this part right here, to come in between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. Let's see where we're at here. We're just past the top. Maybe could be a little bit longer, so let me see if I can tighten this up. If I want a little bit more length, I'm going to take the hold on to the triangle and we'll pull on the long part of the tie. It just tightens the knot up a little bit and gives me a little bit more length. So let's see if that gave us enough length. Yeah, we're about halfway down the belt buckle. Absolutely perfect. So it's going to work perfectly. Let's pull this down. Put the collar now. This shirt, uh, it's an Eaton shirt. And I can't buy most of my shirts off the rack, so I have to have them customized. Uh, Caroline, the seamstress down at uh, Neiman, does a phenomenal job. Caroline fits perfectly. Thank you so much for doing a good job. She measures me and she fits my shirts to me, and so it came together real nice. Love it, love it, love it. But uh, I can't say this is worth an extra 50 bucks. So Zinnia, you make a great product, but your 100s line's a little bit overpriced. Just going to be honest about it because this feels like my, this feels about like my $200 ties. I mean, it's a great tie. It's way better than anything you buy at Walmart or anywhere like that. But um, it's not worth $255 in my opinion. Um, you know, Zinnia is a luxury brand. I think they're trying to compete with this idea and, and Keton with coming out with that 100 line. Um, and I know it's made with better material, but I, I can't justify the feel of this versus one of my many other Zinnia ties. I, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't see it. 
Uh, not knocking Zinnia, great product. I just don't think this is worth $50 more than their other ties. But it is absolutely beautiful. Feels nice. Tied beautifully. Um, it actually reminds me a lot in tying it to an SIE. It has that same type of a feel to it. All right, the look's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today's all about Zinnia when it comes to the browns. We're wearing a brown Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. Get the suit on. Worked out a lot this weekend, too, so my muscles are a little bit sore. Um, all right, brown and Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit. Uh, it's a lighter brown with a little bit darker brown tie. Absolutely gorgeous tie. It's also by Zinnia. The shirt today is by Eaton. It's a Eaton contemporary fit shirt that I had altered to my body. Uh, we're pairing that with a dark brown uh, Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle and a pair of dark brown Bally Oxfords on my Instagram. Tie Guy James Akers. You'll see close-ups of the tie, like a really close shot of it, as well as the, the whole outfit staged. Uh, have the labels of the tie and suit, so you can kind of see what that all looks like. As well as some selfies of me wearing the outfit, and uh, close-ups of the knot, so you can see how it all came together. So check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Akers. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you had a great holiday weekend. I hope you have a wonderful week. I am ready for work.